I don't know how to get the comment set up. I just even researched it and I still can't figure it out. But let's do share. I don't know if y'all can comment on this video. I swear I turned on the comments and I don't know how to get it to let it be like, I even just researched it because I was live and then I came off of live and then I went back online and I don't know how to do it. It, I had it turned on. I don't know. It literally will not let me. So I guess y'all are just gonna have to hang out with me and do I'll just talk to myself, but I'm going to have to figure it out. Maybe it's something in my YouTube settings, but I just went on like my back studio to do it that way. And it still, it won't even let me go live from my studio. So I don't know what's wrong with it, but right now just the boys are awake um, from their nap. I started doing... I wasn't doing like a scheduled nap time and I don't know what I was thinking not doing that because um, now that they do two naps a day and I actually get some like alone time, I don't think I could ever go back. So I just changed Turner's bum and when I'm by myself like this, I was feeding like one baby at a time, but now that they're older and actually starting to like hold their bottles and like they have like the coughing reflux and the gag reflux and stuff. I actually started bottle propping them. Um, I tried bottle propping them, but then we added, started adding um, cereal. So this is, look, Walker wants, is trying to take his bottle. <laughs> this is how I do it though. But they get a fresh new diaper um, at every bottle, of course, if they have. Um, accidents in between bottles I'll change them but I started doing the morning bottle around like to this today Walker slept till 8 15 so I let him sleep um but we got out of bed at like 7 30 and uh I put them back down for a nap around 9 30 ish um and then they just the boys just got up Turner's been up a little bit longer than Walker but Walker will literally lay in the bed and, um, like, not say anything. Like, he'll just lay there and entertain himself. So, I actually went in there and got him up. But he, he probably would have laid in there as long as I'd let him. Um, so, this is just what I do. Sometimes this bottle gets a little rough. Because they act like I didn't feed them six ounces <laughs> at their morning bottle. But, um... Like, Turner woke up from his nap acting like he was starving. And the boy is not starving. He just had a large bottle. Now he's having another large bottle. But the girls really aren't as big of eaters as the boys are. They'll still eat, but just not... Like, the boys want their bottles so bad when they're hungry. But... Hey, Bubba. I was telling um, the first few people that came on the live... I'm trying to figure out why it won't let me do chats. I think it might be something in like my actual like settings. I had it turned on for this video, but it's not working still. So we're just gonna do this video of me talking to talking to myself. I like it better whenever y'all can chat with me. So I'm gonna try to figure it out. Um, but for now, this is just how we're gonna have to do it because I just posted that I was gonna go live and I didn't wanna make a liar out of myself and cancel it. So we, um, this is what we do. And I went ahead before the live and got everything set up because since they did just have a nap, they'll want to play. So like Walker will get in this and stay in this little jumper for a long time. Turner will probably sit up in that or he loves, literally loves these. So he'll probably lay here and play with these until he falls asleep again. But he didn't really get all that great of a nap. 
He is literally chugging. I'm telling y'all, he thinks he's starving to death. So he'll probably go back to sleep. And then I put this on in case it turns hectic because it'll kind of distract them. But they they like just looking at the colors and stuff. So I just let it play. I don't even, they obviously, I don't think they even know what's going on in it. But quit looking at me and eat your bottle, Bubba. He keeps trying to look. And whenever he turns his head, <laughs> the bottle falls out of his mouth. But this is, look, he just did it. <laughs> This is what I do. The girls are gonna wake up in a minute and Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just did this entire live and y'all couldn't even hear me. My sister just texted me and said the sound was off. I don't even know what all y'all heard and what y'all didn't hear. I was trying to figure out how to turn on the captions. Like I was saying, I can't, y'all didn't hear nothing I said. Okay, basically, this is our lunch. Let me restart now that you can actually hear me. I don't know, this is a mess. I'm still trying to figure out YouTube um lives at least because i've never done youtube lives i'm very familiar with like the youtube like posting videos and stuff but as i like i was saying and y'all couldn't hear me goofy me but um walker will get in this little bouncer over here he will get in that and have him a field day turner will probably want to sit up i don't know but he loves these little toys and he will play with those for a hot minute. Um, no, Hannah, it wasn't only all for you. For some very odd reason, I accidentally clicked the mute button when I was trying to figure out why the captions weren't, or comments weren't working. And I think it has to do with something when I set up my YouTube account, maybe I did something on the back end. So I have to go back and figure it out because I turned them on for this video and it's still not working. Like I can't see. So I'm gonna have to, I just watched a YouTube video on how to do it. And I did it. It's not working still. So I have to go back and figure it out. But like I was saying, though, the girls are still asleep. Um, whenever it's two, just the boys or just the girls or one or one, however it must be, when it's just two, it is so calm, cool, and collected. When it becomes three, it gets a little bit more difficult. But when all four are in here, it gets mad. So I try to, like, stagger them like I am right now. Um, so Turner was up first. Walker, I think he was awake, but he will literally sit in his bassinet and play, like, he won't scream or cry that he wants out of the bassinet. He will sometimes, but I wasn't doing, like, a designated nap time, and I don't, uh, I honestly don't know how I survived before having a designated nap time because it's actually, like, a time where I get to literally breathe and gather myself when they go down in their bassinets two times a day. Um, but I'm still like to the point where I'm not stressing it because they're not used to it all the way yet. <laughs> uh, Collins was doing this the other day, how he's kind of like, and Brandon was like, um, your daughter is eating like a gerbil. Because you know how like the gerbils, waters will hang from the side of the cage and they'll like, <laughs> that's what she sounded like. So it was, it was funny, but yeah, the captions are turned off, but I can literally talk to myself so it works out. Um. I don't want them to be off, like I said, but there's this one person who comments on every single one of my YouTube videos that I talk too much, and I want to say, then stop watching, because <laughs> if you don't want to hear me talk, I don't know what else to do. It's hard to make YouTube videos of just me walking. Like, I feel like TikTok, it works out because, um, like, a one-minute video on there, I just like YouTube a lot, so... I like to get on here and chat every now and again. I'm still trying to figure it out, like I said, but... Bubba, do you want more of your milk? 
He's not going to turn down food. That's one thing about him. This boy loves to eat. But let's see what I can update you guys on. So the quads will be, the babies will be eight months old on March 3rd. He's staring at me like listening to mama talk. They'll be eight months old. So right now they're still seven month old. I'm working on getting their, uh, I like to do the pictures to where they're themed every month. So like for Valentine's Day, we did like pink and balloons and all the pink stuff. And, uh, so for March, I think I'm going to do St. Patrick's Day and get like four leaf clover stuff and make it like green themed. So I have to go to, the, I'm thinking I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree because I went in there the other day and they had so much stuff. So I'm going to do that. Okay. Um, so those pictures are coming up. I try to do them as close to their actual like month date as I can because I swear I feel like babies grow overnight. Like they change and have changed so much every single day like he woke up the other day and i picked him up and i was like okay he's at least 40 pounds <laughs> like the kid he's growing like they're all growing so fast they're like look. they're looking at each other and like kicking each other's feet <laughs> what are you doing bubba what are you doing so i try to do i don't know which one that came from I try to do their pictures as close to the day as possible so that I can actually see, like, their age. But for their first birthday, we're doing their, their group pictures as, like, their one year and, um, like, the one year wall where it has, like, every month. Because mom failed. Some of the months I forgot to take. I was going to do four individual, like, Riley's, Collins, Walker's, Turner's, like, one year and just do four posters. But... Mom fail. Um, I didn't do pictures individually um, every single month. There are some months where I did individual pictures. But um, honestly, we just lucky we have pictures at all because some months were a lot harder than others. So I'm so excited for their first birthday. So I started planning it because um, I have so much to do like the week before their birthday party. Um, and even the week of their birthday. So I was like, I want everything to be completely lined up to where like the week, the actual week of their birthday. Um, it's just like finishing up, up touches, having everything ready. I'm in a wedding the Saturday before their birthday party. And then the day of their birthday party, I'm not going to have time to <laughs> like do everything. So everything in my head is going to be like in totes separated. That way we just bring it to the venue and we just decorate so that everything's already ready, if that makes any sense. Because I know sometimes, like, especially with, like, events, the, um, the week of their birthday or even the day of their birthday, you're still, like, doing, like, final details and stuff. I'm not going to be able to do that because the Friday and Saturday before their wedding, I'm in a, I'm at <laughs> their birthday, I'm in a wedding. So, I'm trying to save my sanity and not do everything last minute. So if you see me planning their first birthday party on social media, it's because that is like the, the most busy month and time of the year for us. Um, but it's gonna be so much fun. I think, I don't know, I'm still like up in the air on it. I haven't really been like big on like doing like the big extravagant birthdays, but me and my husband agreed that we're gonna do it for their one year. And then we're like, me and a, a friend were talking about it the other day. And, like, just do, like, big birthday parties for, like, their milestone birthdays. Um, because we want to do trips every year and, like, use. So, like, this year we're actually doing Disney also with my entire family for their first birthday. Um, but it just worked out perfectly for us to have a party as well. And it's their first year. Like, if you just know their story and you know, like how far they've come like why not celebrate that I just keep going back on that like it's just something to celebrate and I'm just excited I'm excited to see where they're at now where they're gonna be then where they were and you know just celebrate that because it's been a very long year huh long but fun never a dull moment at all 
I think that walker looks like me and I don't know who's on this live to disagree with me and I can't see if you're disagreeing with me but I think he looks just like me and Brandon's family says otherwise but I think our faces are very similar hang on let me do the same face as him hang on sit still Bubba <laughs> I think that we're twins. This is my grown boy. He thinks he is a man. Okay, y'all. He is ready to get up, go for, and get a job. He thinks he is a man. Let me put him in his bouncer and y'all can see. He loves this thing, y'all. He loves it. He loves it. He's like just tall enough to where his toes touch the ground. And I think he's starting to figure out that it actually bounces. Sometimes... <laughs> Oh, let me turn it on. Oh, gracious, too loud. Sometimes he'll get his little tippy toes and get to bouncing. And then sometimes I'll put a little blanket under it. And um, that way he can reach the floor better. And he does really good whenever he's barefoot because his feet grip better on the ground. What are you doing? Uh, but y'all, he seriously thinks he is grown. He is ready to walk out that door and drive him a truck to get a job. Look at him. What you doing, Bubba? What is it? What is it? Can you say bounty, bounty, bounty? You see the little um, like bead things right here on the side? He'll sit there and like twist it. He loves them, he loves them, he loves them. You see him trying to stand on his feet, but they're slippery. He does, like, really, really good whenever uh, he's barefoot. <gasps> what are you doing, Bubba? What are you doing? They bounty, bounty, bouncy, bouncy. Yeah, good job. Can you say bouncy, bouncy, bouncy? <gasps> good job. I'm so proud of you. You're so smart. I don't know what my baby voice sounds like on that other side of this phone, but I am apologizing in advance. But we are all about talking to the babies over here. Huh? You so smart. Good job, Bubba. What are you doing? What are you doing? Look at him. He's like, you talking to me, mama? You talking to me? You're so smart, too. And you're so handsome. You're so handsome and you're so smart. He's so handsome. Say blue bird. Blue bird. Flap, flap, flap. Flap, flap, flap. Can you quack? Quack, 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 quack. <gasps> chirp, 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 chirp. Good job. You're so smart. You're so smart. Yeah, you are. And you're so handsome. Yeah, so. I need to go check on the girls. Let me go check on them. I'll be right back. Is it raining? Okay, the girls, we're literally just now starting to wake up. But in order to keep them on the same schedule, I have to get them up. And they probably would have dozed back off to sleep. But Collins is obsessed with TV and it, I'm not very happy about it. But sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. This girl loves her some TV. But this is the life. Okay, now we have to swap them and put one down for now. I'll get you in just a minute, sissy. I'll get you in just a minute. Be patient. Be patient and be kind to mama, huh? 
Be patient and be kind. Okay. Let's see if I can move quick enough for them. Sometimes they're just like, listen here, woman. You're going to feed me now. All right. I see there's more people on here, so I'm going to say it again. I don't know how to work YouTube live. And I'm trying to figure out how to get it to where I can see what y'all are saying. I turned it on on my settings, but it's still not working. So, if y'all have me on any social media and you know how to do it and you can help a girl out, please message me and tell me how to fix it because I don't know. I watched videos on how to fix it. It is still not working. So, but this is just a little glimpse into the day of my life. We, um... They, I wasn't doing, I don't know if y'all could hear this or not whenever I accidentally had the mic muted, but we weren't doing designated nap times. And I don't know how, our, how, our, how I was surviving because I started doing two naps where they go in their bassinets by themselves and they actually like lay in there for an hour to an hour and a half. And it has been the best thing for my mental health that could have ever happened because I actually get like a moment where there's no babies in front of me and I just get to have like a decompressed moment and I get to breathe for a little bit. So they'll go down again around one. So it's 1125 here right now and they'll go down again around one. They'll play for a good hour to an hour and a half and wear themselves out real good. But I'm actually going to meet a friend today to help her, she's expecting a baby. And I kinda wanna just go be with her for a little bit and just talk to her about mom life. And she's going to do so great. I'm so proud of her and I'm so excited to see how well she's going to be as a mom. So we are going to go over to her house because her baby will hopefully be here this week if he's ready, Lord willing. So we'll see. I guess Turner Man's obsessed with playing down here. I'm gonna move him to a seat before I start on Riley Girl. I'm gonna move him over here. So, usually, um, I say usually, we've only been doing the schedule for like two weeks now, but before the schedule, I would, uh, do you wanna sit in here and play? Um, I would just let them doze off kinda in the living room as they please. But now that we're trying to get them on like a nap schedule, I say we, it's just me here. But now that I'm trying to get them on a nap schedule, I, uh, <laughs> you're not hungry, sissy? Yeah, okay. Um, I'm trying to keep them up and playing. Like Turner would probably go back to sleep right now because that boy, he like never reaches like a deep sleep. He cries in his sleep. He's an active sleeper. He has been since the moment he was born. Um, poor baby like I don't know he just dozes off and then he gets uncomfortable or get like startled and he just screams and he's not awake because I scare him whenever I go and check on him and then he like jumps up like whoa when'd you get there so I know he's not awake when he's doing it but I've gotten to the point where I'm used to it and I kind of just go and watch him and make sure he's okay instead of like actually like going for him so I don't know He's, you can just see all over his face though. He's still tired. But anyway, like I was saying, going to check on my friend. Um, I say check on her. That's not really the, the terms I should be using. Just going to catch up with her. That's what I should say. So, um, they'll take a nap in the car. Because they, oh, speaking of car, mama got a new car. Because we, usually they'll go down, that's what I was saying, usually they'll go down at one, and then they'll get up at three, we'll eat again, and they'll probably be up, maybe take like a 30 minute cat nap until 7.30. So right now they're doing really good with two naps. We haven't really worked in the, the third one yet. Um, they don't really cue like they want a third nap because they are sleeping 12 hours at night. So after the three o'clock nap, they're pretty much up until bedtime because my husband gets home at four and they love when he gets home from work. So, it's definitely a uh, trial and error. We're just learning, going with the flow. Anyway, Mama got a new car. Um, we were driving an Expedition. Absolutely loved it. It fit, like, them in it perfectly. But we have the Wonderfold Wagon, 
and I have a surprise coming up that I'm not going to talk about just yet, but I've got something coming in the mail that I can't wait to share with you guys. Um, but the wonderful wagon wasn't working with the expedition um, and the babies. She's not, look, she's like, no, thank you. You see, like, she's, like, pushing it out. She's not ready for it quite yet. You don't have to eat it yet. You want to play for a minute? Yeah, she wants to play. Look at her. <laughs> she has learned how to, like, and play with her toes, and it's so stinking cute. But anyway, like I was saying, the expedition doesn't work with the Wonderfold and the, like, baby seats being up unless we put down one seat. And then there's absolutely no trunk space even with that situation. So, I got a Kia Carnival. And if you go on my Instagram, please, please, please follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to work on growing my following on there and kind of working more towards posting on there a little bit more and interacting with you guys um, via Instagram. Because um, Instagram does really good of, of their story platforms. It's easier for me to interact with you guys instead of having a um, DM and stuff. It's more of like a live through the story way. Anyway, y'all know how it works. Make sure y'all are following me on Instagram. Um, like I was saying, y'all can see my Kia Carnival on Instagram. It is amazing. We got the one that has the seat package. And maybe I'll do like a little video. Because this is my first like brand new car. So it actually like feels like my car. Like we got it brand new off the lot. I'm so proud. Like so happy to have it um so i'm getting some like accessories for the inside of it to like make it mine um so maybe when those come in i'll do like a video but it has the seat package there's so many different ways to do the seats it's amazing there's so much room inside of it y'all hear him playing with that that's what i was telling y'all let me show you he'll sit there and just like twist them <laughs> He's giggling at himself. Oh, too close for you, sis. What you doing? What you doing? Little rabbit foo foo hop into the forest. Can you say the itty bitty spider went up the water spout? Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Anyway, it has the seat package in it and, um, there's so many different ways to like put the seats, which with my situation and we have quadruplets um, doing the captain and then the two babies in the back works the best for us. But I was telling Brandon, which is my husband, when we go to Disney, I think I want to do the bench in the middle and then put one baby in the back. But then he made a good point. Like if we have to like climb back there or something just to check on them, like worst case scenario, something happens. Um, or like we have to hurry up and pull over, you know, worst case scenario, just thinking of all the different possibilities. It would be very difficult to get to the baby in the back if we do it that way. And there's so much room in it. Like we don't really have to do the three in the middle and then one in the back because the trunk in the back, y'all, my wonderful can stand up like straight up in it. Right now we have it laid down so that if we're driving, it doesn't fall and scratch anything. Who are you talking to? She's done. So, uh, let me burp this. So, um, we don't have to do that. There's so much room in the trunk. But I was, we were just playing with it last night because we were just excited to see, like, all the different possibilities. And, like, if we, like, get to the point where we want other people riding with us, the middle seat and the third in the middle row, it just clicks in and out. So, like, right now it's out in the back of Brandon's truck. And all he has to do is go and get it and just put it right back in. And it's, like the easiest thing ever so I mean so far we love it so much I told Brandon that like later on down the road I'm gonna want to get like a Suburban or something and he's like honestly Megan now that you have like the van and you are so used to like the room in it I don't think you're ever gonna want to go to anything different so we'll see but I do love it so much and I got the one that's not the base model it's the next trim up and it has like all of the features where it has the cameras in the back. Basically Kia is like completely focused around like safety for the driver and the kids obviously, or passengers. 
So, on the... Are you going to throw up on me? On the dash, it has, like, these cameras where, like, if I were talking to the people in the back seat, Because I'm one of those people that have to make eye contact with you to actually hear you. So, I'm like, what'd you say? No, you just turn on the camera and you can see all the people back there. I thought she threw up on me, but she didn't. So, that's pretty cool. That's a neat feature. So... Ah, she did throw up. It didn't get on me, though. Well, I guess this considers on me. It got on my arm. It didn't, I thought it got, like, all over my shirt, but it didn't. So, this was actually a very smooth lunch. Sometimes this lunch schedule or lunch time goes very rough, but surprisingly, they're behaving. So, I don't know who's new on here, but this is the time where they play and wear themselves out till about one and walker loves the bouncer i need to get some more of those little bouncers now that they're getting to the age what are you doing over there sissy what are you doing let me turn off this tv all she wants to do is stare at it and it drives me insane i'm okay with a little screen time but me and my husband do try to um limit it so Usually in the afternoon when we're trying to eat dinner is whenever they watch it because that's the only time we can actually sit down and breathe. But sometimes now that they're going to bed earlier, we'll just wait and eat dinner when they're asleep or in bed. Um, it really just depends on how the day goes. If they're like completely exhausted, we're not going to keep them up and make them fight. So I think she's about to spit up. My girls started doing this thing where they growl at people, so they'll go. And it's so funny. Let's see if I can get her to do it. Kind of girl thing. <laughs> She's trying to do it. Oh, somebody commented on my video that I posted. I think I posted it yesterday. And I didn't talk to Collins when I put her in the car. And they were like, please don't let that be your it child. And I was like, what is that? First of all, what does that even mean? Like, she's not my it child. What is it, baby? Walker looks tired still, too. But they all get attention from mama. They do. So, I wish y'all could ask me questions, but, um, that's about all we do. And then I clean up. Walker looks tired. I might have to move him out that bouncer. Give someone else a turn. He is not having it. Look, she doesn't like people being with her. She's mad that I put Collins down there. Let me move her over here. I tell Brandon that that one is his child because she acts just like him. And he's like, I don't even know what that means. I'm like, you're in denial is what you are. Sissy, what in the world? I'm sorry, you spit up. I'm sorry, I'll leave you alone. I'll leave you around. Come here. You want out? Come on. Come on. You want out? Are you done? Hey, are you done? You want out? Come here. Come on. You gotta reach up. Come on. Come on. You wanna stay and play? So they're about to start physical therapy. And basically she said that we need to work on them starting to like reach for us. They're not doing it 100% yet. But I can tell when he wants me to grab him or not because he'll throw himself back and like stare at me. So that's a good first step. So... We'll see how it goes. They're about to start therapy. Well, two of them are. <coughs> but I'm going to do, like, my own type of therapy with the other two. Um, so. <coughs> Excuse me. Basically, just watch what they do with certain two and then do a, 
the therapy on my own with the other two. I could have just gotten all four of them serviced, but two of them's not um, really all that far behind. So I'm not stressing it right now. I can pick it up whenever I want. Um, so I'm just gonna start with two and see how it goes. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much what I do. But we're about to load them up and bring my sister-in-law some coffee because she asked me if I could bring her some. Are you ready to get out now? You can't make up your mind? Look, y'all see? Oh, you can't even see him. Watch, he'll throw himself back and then put his arms up in the air. You see, there, that's how I know he wants out. <laughs> Let me see if he'll come to me this time. You ready to get out? Y'all see? <laughs> you ready? Yeah. So, just teaching them the cues of how to tell me they want things is kind of what I'm focusing on right now. So he just told me he wanted out. So I got him out. And now Collins is kicking him. What do you want? Do you want to go play? But, whoa. <laughs> all right, that is all that I had for today. This is how I do my lunch. I probably would stay on here a little bit longer if, you know, I knew how to do the commenting. Uh, I'm going to figure that out. And the next one will probably be a lot longer and a lot more um, giving you guys the ability to, to be um, actually active with the live. But make sure you subscribe to our channel, please, and thank you. It seriously helps me and our family out so much whenever y'all are subscribed and you just follow along our story and our lives so we have instagram tiktok youtube and i have a facebook page but i am starting to do a little bit more on youtube and instagram so make sure you are for sure on those platforms thank you so much for watching until next time